To help students stay up late studying, our dorm room has that added thing to give them that jolt of energy. An oxygen bar. <laughs> yes, it comes with domestic. Mmm, Seattle. <laughs> and imported. <coughs> Mexico City. Home Improvement always felt like a warm hug for millennials because it's the show they've seen growing up. The show quickly garnered so much popularity that suddenly everyone started watching it. However, it wasn't long until things started going south. The show, which was a decently famous one, disappeared from our screens. The fans kept waiting for any follow-up show or spin-off of Home Improvement, but nothing ever came, and we lost our favorite show without any closure. So today, we'll get into the nitty-gritty of the rise and fall of Home Improvement and why it was discontinued. Suppose your kid has a chemistry final tomorrow. He's got to do well, but the professor's got the silly bias against students that, I don't know, blow up the chemistry lab. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> When Matt Williams and Carmen Finestra got the idea of making a show similar to Home Improvement, not everyone was on board with it. That's because the show sounded like a mix of reality TV and sitcom, but the creators were pretty sure that if they pick the right kind of people for the show, it'll take off in no time. It was when they decided to cast Tim Allen and Pamela Anderson in the cast of the show. Tim Allen was a great comedian by that point, and his comedic timing was so on point that the creators knew he'll only make this show an absolute hit. Also, it was the golden era of sitcoms, and everybody was watching shows like Friends and That 90s Show. They were getting very high ratings, and this was the best time to start the Home Improvement show before it was too late. So, they created a plot for the show, with the central character Tim, played by Tim Allen. There were a few more characters like his wife Jill and sons Brad, Mark, and Randy. The show was set in Detroit in a very suburban setting, but what really made the show click with the audiences was Tim's character. Right off the bat, Tim was a very overambitious and funny character, which the audiences resonated with. He also made a lot of mess and hurt himself quite often while working with his tools, which made the show a lot more fun. All the episodes on the show were based on the life of Tim and his family, solving one problem after the other. But they seemed like regular people, with regular problems, and that's why the show started getting more viewership. Critics weren't completely on board with the idea of this sitcom. They kept criticizing it, some even calling it borderline stupid. The show is still very lowly rated among the critics because they believe that the plot and comedy isn't anything special. But in this case, the audiences are the real judges and people were loving home improvement. The idea of a man trying to raise his three children with the help of his wife and friends seems very interesting. While critics were badmouthing the show, home improvement was rising to great heights in silence. It became the most-watched sitcom in the US in the 90s and got several awards. Home Improvement was all the rage and people just couldn't get enough of it. This was the rise of the show, when people were talking about the show in their private meetings and gatherings, wondering what would happen next. But the show has another segment to thank for its highest ratings. Home Improvement got so much success mainly because it was the peak era of comedy sitcoms. Shows like Seinfeld and Friends were also getting a lot of fame. That's why Home Improvement also got its initial hype because of the overall success of comedy shows. But then, the show sustained its success with the help of its characters. Tim Allen was a great comedian, and he was the reason why most comedy sequences on the show didn't fall flat. He made every scene funny, and it never felt like they were forcing the comedy onto us. The comic element always felt very natural on the show. The creators also cast actors perfectly for the characters, which is another reason why Home Improvement became so famous. For instance, people loved Patricia Richardson as Jill and believed that no one could have done this role better than her, and there surely is some truth to it. Tim Allen's character was also played really well by him, and it was so memorable and relatable that people never got enough of the show. While other leading sitcoms at the time were mostly about the lives of teenagers or young adults, Home Improvement was made on a family-oriented theme. So, people resonated with the storyline because it was mostly about raising children, jobs, and difficulties of a family life. And that's what guaranteed the success of Home Improvement. People connected with the marital issues Jill and Tim were going through, and they also knew how hard it is to fix things after a DIY goes wrong. They also showed how it's not always easy to raise kids, even if both the parents are doing their job so. The thing that Home Improvement did was that it really made its characters real, with problems that common people have. 
The show's success was also guaranteed by the effective marketing they did. At the time, everyone on TV and news was talking about home improvement, and most of this marketing was obviously paid. So, the characters were way ahead of their time when it comes to promotions. They also don't let any controversy have an impact on the viewership, and that's the reason why this show was number one on the charts, even when it was discontinued. There also were a lot of DIY solutions on the show, so it wasn't just entertaining the audiences, but also informing them of things to do and not to do in DIY home improvement projects. It's the reason why people watch the show with their kids, and it eventually became a family tradition to watch it every single day, without missing one. So, while growing up, people connected with the show and it kind of served as nostalgia, resulting in the massive success of the later seasons. The plotline of the show was also very interesting. The creators made sure that they weren't repeating the same thing or surrounding the same story constantly, like most sitcoms were doing at the time. But with every Home Improvement episode, there was something new that people discovered about the plot and the characters, so it kept the show fresh for the audiences for several seasons. Also, the creators knew that having a very strong supporting cast was the key to their success, and that's the reason they got actors like Richard Kahn and Patricia on board, because they were the masters of comedy shows. And it won't be wrong to say that Tim always remained the center of attention on home improvement, and he's the main reason why the show really took off, reached its peak, and then eventually faced a fall. Home improvement episodes always had a slot reserved for tool time, where Tim used all different kinds of tools and showed how to use them. Lisa, played by Pamela Anderson, helped the guy in the beginning, and people were totally smitten over her. The interesting thing about this segment was that Tim always used all the tools in the wrong way, causing accidents several times. So, it was just a means to show you how not to use particular tools. Tim wasn't a great handyman, and it was apparent from the very first episode, and the Tool Time segment highlighted it, resulting in the funniest episodes. After a few episodes aired, people started waiting for Tool Time to finally start, because they got to see this new girl Pamela and Tim doing all sorts of mistakes, and that was over-the-top funny. Tool Time actually worked as a great parody, and Tim proved himself to not just be a stand-up comedian, but also a physical one, who could do comedy with his gestures and body language. So, Tool Time also has a lot to do with the popularity of the entire show. The most shocking part is, Pamela Anderson actually started a TV journey from this show and then made her way to the industry. After the first two seasons of being featured in Tool Time, Pamela started receiving a lot of projects, and she finally signed Baywatch, the show that still keeps many people awake at night. So, the Tool Time segment also helped Pamela to take off her career and added a really fun and different element to the show itself. It never let the show get boring or repetitive, because Tim always had some random tool to share and talk about. And for all this, his clumsy nature was pretty obvious till the end, which the audiences really loved. It wouldn't be wrong to say that the Till Time segment played a major role in the rise of home improvement, as the show became the highest rated and most watched show in the country. It also became a household name until it was discontinued, and that was because even a homey show like Home Improvement has got its fair share of controversies. So, let's get into it and find out what really caused the fall of a show as legendary as Home Improvement. Home Improvement went down for so many reasons, and netizens think that one of them is Tim Allen. Tim is probably the most loved character on the show, but he's also fairly controversial. There are so many scandals attached to his name, but we can't deny the fact that he really made the show worth watching. However, things got a little rough when he was constantly dragged for his latest controversies, and it kept damaging the show's image. So let's find out some of the reasons why Home Improvement really went down. Even before the show started, Tim Allen started having run-ins with the law, and he got arrested by the Michigan police back in the 1970s. He was caught at the airport trying to smuggle substances. It was later revealed that Tim Allen was a very famous dealer, and police had to start a fully-fledged sting operation just to arrest him. He was even in jail for more than two years, and he vowed to stay sober and focus on getting his life together. It's when he really started taking his stand-up comedy seriously. Tim reached the peak of stand-up comedy and got a chance to work as a lead in Home Improvement. While surrounded by so much wealth and fame, Tim Allen reportedly fell off the wagon. But you might be thinking, how could he do that after going through so much trouble with law and order? But you see, Tim didn't understand all that. It was 1997, when Home Improvement was at the height of his success and suddenly, reports started circulating that Tim Allen was arrested. But it was soon revealed that he was over-speeding, and when the police took his sobriety test and then got his blood test level as well, he failed both and had to go to rehab. It was clear that Tim fell off the wagon during the show and was drinking even more than he used to. But he was put into rehab, and although it did affect the show, Tim came back perfectly fine. 
This controversy was blown completely out of proportion, and TV hosts kept talking about it, which affected the viewership of Home Improvement. People saw the show as a very positive and family-oriented sitcom, but Talent's controversy cast the whole show in a bad light. Luckily now though, Tim has been sober for years, and he talks about it quite often too. The real downfall of Home Improvement started when Jonathan Taylor made a decision to leave the show. He was one of the three children of Tim on the show, and the audience is connected with the whole family, so any one of them leaving would have had a huge impact on the viewership. Jonathan Taylor got a massive career boost from the show, and everyone wanted to see more of him in shows and movies. But he just wanted a normal life, like a normal teen. By the seventh season of the show, Jonathan got so tired of the fame and constant pressure that he decided to bail on the show. He wanted to go to college and travel, which wasn't really possible with him being on set every day. So, he decided to quit the show, and everyone supported him on his decision. Except for one person. Yes, you guessed it right. Tim Allen wasn't very happy with Jonathan leaving and thought that the team was making a selfish decision, putting everyone else's career on the line. Reports even started emerging that Tim Allen was forcing Jonathan to stay on the show and was being very rude to the teenager. People started demanding that if Jonathan really wants to leave the show, he should be allowed to do so with dignity. Allen later said that he was really confused about why exactly Jonathan was leaving and it didn't make any sense to him. But it was Jonathan's decision to make, and Alan urging him to stay just for the show it didn't seem practical at all. It made the fans sure that it won't be long until other people start leaving, because they've already witnessed Tim Allen's behavior with Jonathan Taylor. Patricia Richardson was very supportive of the kid's decision to leave the show for his studies, but Tim and the creators thought that it was a foolish decision and that he'd regret it. Objectification really was the last nail in the coffin for home improvement. It started off as very subtle, and people actually loved the seductive antics of Pamela Anderson. But as seasons went by, it started making everyone uncomfortable. Girls on the Soul Time were shown as eye candy, and it started getting messy when even the fans started pointing it out. Tim Allen and the creators constantly promoted home improvement as a light-hearted family show, but the over-the-top objectification made it really hard for people to actually see it as a family show. It didn't even sit well with the overall theme of the show, and in the beginning, people were actually amused by it, but it soon started bothering them because the double-meaning joke started getting longer and the clothes shorter. Despite all these controversies, the show was doing fairly well and Patricia was a huge hit. However, after eight seasons, Patricia, the on-screen wife of Tim Allen, decided to quit the show. Allen knew that he could do a show without his son, but Patricia was a character that just couldn't be replaced. And this was the time when Home Improvement was on top and Patricia still decided to bail, but she had her reasons. Recently, Patricia opened up about it and has said that she quit the show at its peak because she didn't want to be stuck with the same thing and her kids needed her. So, she quit the show despite being offered a very high amount. Tim Allen didn't want Patricia to leave and he even convinced the creators to offer her $25 million to stay, but she still refused and decided to leave the show after the eighth season. By this point, Tim Allen also didn't want to continue working alone, because he knew that it was a recipe for failure, so he decided to quit the show when it was at its peak. He was also offered $50 million, but by this point, he was fascinated by the idea of leaving something while it's still on its peak. The creators later revealed that Tim Allen actually regretted leaving Home Improvement while it was still the number one show on the charts. But by true means, the fall for Home Improvement really got worse, because no one wanted to work on it anymore. People were tired of playing the same characters, and reports of bad behavior from the sets were also pretty common. Some people believe that the show traumatized some of its cast members, and that's why a lot of them have gotten into trouble. So, let's take a look at what happened. Tara Noah Smith was one of the three children of Tim on Home Improvement, and it wouldn't be wrong to say that he suffered the most after the show ended. Taron came from nothing, so getting such a massive opportunity was a big deal for him. However, things started going south when he just couldn't handle his fame anymore. He was a well-known name at that point and a regular on the show, which also meant that he was getting a lot of money. And Taron was still a teen at the time, so all this fame and worth sent him over the edge, and he ran from his house when he was just a teen. He soon filed a legal case against his parents so that he could take ownership of his $1.5 million trust fund. And to make matters worse, Taron also got married the same year. But what really raised a lot of eyebrows was the age of his wife. The celebrity vegan chef Heidi Van Pelt was the spouse of Taron Noah, and she was 33 at the time. Heidi also was the one who turned Taron against his parents. He demanded the trust fund money because of Heidi, and it was pretty clear that she was in complete control. 
Luckily, the two got divorced in 2007, and it was revealed that the house they were living in was completely trashed. But Taron's troubles didn't just end there. As he didn't have a hit show as a safety net, he started by freaking out. By 2012, Taron was an addict, and he was even caught in possession of different substances. He reportedly went to rehab and took back control of his life. Taron mended ties with his mother and realized that the early fame and money from home improvement was too much for him to handle at such an early age, and the affair and marriage with Heidi didn't help either. Taron later wrote an entire book with his mother about how to navigate the entertainment industry, especially when you're really young. He believes that in his early years he got too much in too little time because of his character in Home Improvement, and he just couldn't handle all of it. Taron is doing really well for himself now. He's an artist and also volunteers for disaster relief. His book also did decent business, and the star is doing better than ever with pursuing his true passion. Zachary was the eldest son of Tim on the show, and after the show ended, he got some pretty steady work. Home Improvement really helped him launch his career, but soon after he starred in a Thor movie based on Greek mythology, and this was when things started going wrong. Zachary stopped getting decent roles after his subpar acting in the movie, and he had to open a bar to make ends meet. But his partners double-crossed him in the bar business as well, and Zachary sought legal help. His career hasn't really been going well since, and as Zachary was used to having a lot of fame and money, this sudden failure numbed his mind. In 2020, he even had a violent episode with his girlfriend and ended up going to jail and getting a restraining order. Zachary had to spend the night in jail and paid a bail price of $8,500, after which the police instructed him to stay away from the ex-girlfriend and issued a restraining order against him. So, Zachary hasn't been doing too well either mental health-wise, and it's probably related to getting exposed to so much of fame and money at a very young age.